Chapter 8 And when they had supped, they brought Tobias in unto her. And as he went, he remembered the words of Raphael, and took the ashes of the perfumes, and put the heart and the liver of the fish thereupon, and made a smoke therewith. The which smell, when the evil spirit had smelled, he fled into the utmost parts of Egypt, and the angel bound him. Chapter 8 And when they had supped, they brought Tobias in unto her. And as he went, he remembered the words of Raphael, and took the ashes of the perfumes, and put the heart and the liver of the fish thereupon, and made a smoke therewith. The which smell, when the evil spirit had smelled, he fled into the utmost parts of Egypt, and the angel bound him. And after that they were both shut in together, Tobias rose out of the bed and said, Sister, arise, and let us pray that God would have pity on us. Then began Tobias to say, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, and blessed is thy holy and glorious name forever. Let the heavens bless thee and all thy creatures. Thou madest Adam, and gavest him Eve his wife, for an helper and stay. Of them came mankind. Thou hast said, It is not good that man should be alone. Let us make unto him an aid like unto himself. And now, O Lord, I take not this my sister for lust, but uprightly. Therefore mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. And she said with him, Amen. So they slept both that night. And Raguel arose and went and made a grave, saying, I fear lest he also be dead. And when Raguel was come into his house, he said unto his wife Edna, Send one of the maids, and let us see whether he be alive. If he be not, that we may bury him, and no man know it. So the maid opened the door, and went in, and found them both asleep, and came forth and told them that he was alive. Then Raguel praised God and said, O oh God, thou art worthy to be praised with all pure and holy praise. Therefore let thy saints praise thee with all thy creatures, and let all thine angels and thine elect praise thee. Chapter 11 After these things, Tobias went his way, praising God that he had given him a prosperous journey, and blessed Rigel and Edna his wife, and went on his way till they drew near unto Nineveh. Then Raphael said to Tobias, Thou knowest, brother, how thou didst leave thy father. Let us haste before thy wife, and prepare the house, and take in thine hand the gall of the fish. So they went their way, and the dog went after them. Now Anna sat looking toward the way for her son, and when she espied him coming, she said to his father, Behold, thy son cometh, and the man that went with him. Then said Raphael, I know, Tobias, that thy father will open his eyes. Therefore anoint thou his eyes with the gall, and being pricked therewith he shall rub, and the whiteness shall fall away, and he shall see. Then Anna ran forth, and fell upon the neck of her son, and said unto him, Seeing I have seen thee, my son, from henceforth I am content to die. And they wept both. Tobit also went forth toward the door, and stumbled. But his son ran unto him, and took hold of his father, and he strake of the gall on his father's eyes, saying, Be of good hope, my father. And when his eyes began to smart, he rubbed them, and the whiteness scaled away from the corners of his eyes. And when he saw his son, he fell upon his neck, and he wept and said, Blessed art thou, O God, and blessed is thy name for ever, and blessed are all thine holy angels. For thou hast scourged, and hast taken pity on me. For behold, I see my son Tobias. And his son went in rejoicing, and told his father the great things that had happened to him in Media. Then Tobit went out to meet his daughter-in-law at the gate of Nineveh, rejoicing and praising God. And they which saw him go marveled, because he had received his sight. But Tobias gave thanks before them, because God had mercy on him. And when he came near to Sarah his daughter-in-law, he blessed her, saying, Thou art welcome, daughter. God be blessed, which hath brought thee unto us, 
and blessed be thy father and thy mother. And there was joy among all his brethren which were at Nineveh. And Achaicharus and Nazbus his brother's son came, and Tobias's wedding was kept seven days with great joy.